Hello guys, and welcome back. In today's video, I would be showing you how you can add shake pump effect in your gaming montage. Note, this is not my real voice. Now, let's start the video. To add shake pump effect, you need have installed Sapphire plugin. If you aren't having, don't worry. You can download it by typing this in your browser which is coming in front of your screen. After installation, open Premiere Pro and create a new project. Import the clip and drag it to create a sequence. So this the clip, I'm using. Then import the music. This is the music I'm using. After that, mark the beats by pressing M on your keyboard. Then you need to do slow mo as per the video sync to the music. You can see, how I've done the slow mo. After doing that, you must nest it. Note, mark should be available. After you nested it, you must render the video. Now, if the ratio of your video is not 16 ratio 9, then you must add mirror effect, two times so that the video fits to 16 ratio 9. In my case, since it is 21 ratio 9, I would add it. If you don't want to add mirror effect, you can simply scale the video. But, if you have added mirror effects, change the value of first reflection angle to 90 degree and second to minus 90 degree. Then you need to change the position so that it gets fit. After that, go the first marker and go to 3 to 5 frames backward and also forward from the same marker and you must split it. You need to repeat this steps at all marked point. After doing all that, go the effects panel and search for blur mo curves. Add it to the first splited or trimmed video. Then in that same video, go to marked point and you need to turn on its Z distances animation and make it to 0.4 or whatever you wish. If you do it less than 1, it gets zoom in and if you do more than 1, then it gets zoom out. Then go the trimmed videos starting and ending point and reset its value to 1. Then same you have to do it on the other clips. If you want the same value to other clips too, then you can just simply copy the effect and paste it there. Now, in the last clip, I want to add more zoom in, so I'll increase its value to 0.2. Lastly, I would add shake effect, but only in last. I'm adding the shake preset given by Haroon Gaming. Note, I haven't created this preset nor I'm owning it. It completely belongs to him. If you want that preset, I'll provide his video link in the description. After that, you must render it. But before that if you want you can also crop the bottom and height so that the mirror effect gets unseen. After that render the video and done. So guys hope you all liked the video. I would love to get your feedbacks in the comment section. Meet you all in the next video. Thank you.